here I am. <laughs> Good afternoon. Happy lunchtime. Happy lunchtime. Happy lunchtime, everyone. This is just a lunchtime check-in. So I'll be doing a little half hour and yeah, see where this goes. Hee. Hi to everyone, happy lunchtime. This is just a quick lunchtime live. So if you want a chance of having a reading, if you know me, you know I go live every day, usually UK time around 5 p.m. So this is unusual for me to be live lunchtime. So I'm just going to do a quick one card pulls, maybe two cards, just to see how many people I can get through. If you do want to be considered for a card, then double tap the screen, pop your name in comments. And I'll see who I'm drawn to. So hi to everyone who's just joining. We've literally just gone live. Double tap the screen, pop your name in the comments and I'll see who, who I'm drawn to. Cindy, Cindy, sweet Cindy three. Let's get Cindy a message. Cindy, you have the sun in reverse, my lovely. So if you've been feeling a bit down, feeling a little bit like you're lacking in energy, what do you need to do here? Well, you need to see that there's lots of opportunities for you that perhaps you're not paying attention to. You've got the Ace of Swords here as well, so you're definitely not seeing something that there's an opportunity here for you. Yes, it's a Welsh accent. Hi. Um, so yeah, I just need to I just need you to kind of change your mindset, see the opportunities and flip that sun in reverse to a sun energy and upright, which is bringing you happiness, celebration, reward, success and that feel good vibe, my lovely. OK, so positive thinking only, my lovely. OK, hi, Gemma. Let's get a message for Gemma, please. Message for Gemma. Message for Gemma. Gemma, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse here. So something is a bit off balance here. There's something that's a little bit one-sided and this needs a bit of work and attention. Maybe you're giving yourself too much or giving too much of yourself to a situation or a person and you're not getting that reciprocation back in return there. And I feel like when you do start to take a step back and have a more balanced approach and start giving yourself so easily and giving so much of yourself, you're going to be in in this ace of wands energy where you're feeling inspired motivated and feeling stronger and ready to to go after what you want and you do now have the sun in the upright position so this by taking control taking a step back and not allowing someone to take advantage of your generous nature things will come into balance and it's going to bring you a lot of happiness and success hi to everyone who's just joining happy lunchtime i am literally just going live for a little lunchtime check-in before I do my private readings, uh, just double tap the screen, pop your name in comments and I'll see who I am drawn to. Amy with the orange heart. Amy, you've got the seven of wands here in the reverse position, my lovely. This is a feeling of exhaustion. This is you feeling like you want to give up. But don't give up, my lovely. I just feel like you're feeling a bit overwhelmed at the moment. Um, but don't surrender. I feel like you don't need to surrender here. Keep going because you two have the sun in the upright position, which is the ultimate happiness. OK, so something that's weighing you down, something that's making you feel like you you just can't go on. Don't give up. OK, good things are coming. Just keep going. Keep pushing. OK, it's almost like you need that final little nudge to just, you know, be in that sun energy of feeling happy, celebratory and, and successful for sure. Oh, Rupee, Rupee with two purple hearts. Rupee, message for Rupee, please. Rupee, you do have the four of pentacles here. So there's something that you're holding on to here. Okay, there's something a bit stubborn in this energy sometimes. But it could just be a case of with the four of pentacles. I sometimes feel like with the four of pentacles, sometimes you need to, for example, spend money to make money. So if you're thinking about working on a project or something that you need to spend money on or something that you need to invest time in and invest energy in do it okay because it's definitely worth it for you so it could be that you're leaving home or you're thinking of your next move maybe there's been a conflict or an argument with a loved one and you're being a bit stubborn around that obviously this is just a quick read my lovely so it's it's going to be take what resonates for your situation i'm feeling this has been potentially uh, a conflict with somebody that you are close to and you're being a little bit stubborn around it but you know, just take some time out from it, okay? Reflect, self-reflect, do that soul searching because 
Eight of Swords in reverse for you. You're not trapped in this situation. You don't need to be stubborn in this energy because you've got the freedom, the free will to move on from this for sure. Hi to everyone who's just joined my live. Welcome. If you want to be considered for a reading, double tap the screen and pop your name in the comments. I'll see who I'm drawn to and I'll get you a couple of cards. You're welcome, Rupi. Linda, message for Linda, please. Message for Linda. Linda, message for Linda, please. Linda, you've got the King of Cups in reverse here. So somebody's being a little bit emotionally manipulative with you. You could be feeling um, a little bit of moodiness yourself, feeling a little bit withdrawn, or someone is being a bit withdrawn or moody with you, okay? Take what resonates, of course. But there is an opportunity here for healing and a resolve because you've got the Two of Cups in the upright position, which is a harmonious union. It's it's a connection, a real deep, mutual, respectful connection with someone really important to you. Um, yeah, but just stand your ground here, okay? Stick up for yourself, stand up for yourself because whatever the situation is here, let it go because there is an opportunity for a resolve. But you've got to set boundaries and stand your ground, my lovely, okay? Hitali, Hitali, Hitali. Let's get a message for Hitali, please. The Empress, my lovely, this is a very beautiful energy of self-care, self-love, self-nurture, feeling like everything's in abundance. If you're not in that um, state of feeling abundant right now, you need to put yourself in that state of abundance. Start to appreciate all of the good things around you. Even things like the food you have, the uh, fact that you can have water on tap, the fact that you can, you've got family and friends around you who love you, care for you. I just feel like you need to be in that kind of nurturing energy of self-care self-nurture okay because i feel like perhaps there's been a little bit of self-neglect there and you're not believing in yourself but you really need to believe in yourself here maybe you've been again in a state of conflict here with someone and it's made you doubt your worth okay but something or someone has made you doubt your worth but you do not need to doubt your worth be in this Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? I love the Queen of Pentacles. She's very balanced. She's very in control. She's very practical and she's very rational, but she still has compassion, okay? So don't lose touch of your compassion. Know that you've got a lot to offer a situation or a person here. Don't doubt yourself, okay? Don't doubt yourself. You just need to bring yourself back to a grounded position go back to basic spirit is telling me here whatever that means for you okay because you've also got the king of pentacles with you but he's in reverse here so that's just lacking in that sense of balance lacking in that sense of self-belief but i feel like with the empress card in the upright position you just need to work on yourself for now before you think about doing anything else know your value know your worth my lovely then you just need to work on yourself for now before you think about doing anything else know your value know your worth my lovely zen a message for zen please message for zen message for zen please <clears throat> message for zen Zen, you've got the Seven of Cups here in the reverse position, okay? So this could be um, having clarity because the Seven of Cups in the upright position is lots of choices. It can be a bit confusing. It can be overwhelming. But I feel like you're flipping that now and you're making a choice. If you haven't made the choice yet, you will need to make that choice very soon because it will bring clarity for you, okay, my lovely? And I feel like it's something that you're manifesting, something you're working towards that's going to bring you a new opportunity. There could be a new opportunity coming financially for you that's going to bring you um, a really exciting new offer in work or in education, whatever your situation is, my lovely. But it's going to ground you, okay, and it's going to put you back in control. So I hope that helps you. Samantha, message for Samantha, please. <coughs> message for Samantha, please. Okay, Samantha, you've got the King of Cups here in the upright position and you've got the Two of Cups in the reverse, okay? So this is someone very mature, somebody very emotionally, somebody who wears their emotions on their sleeves, but they are very much in control emotionally. This Two of Cups, though, I feel is, is around a breakup for you. So if you are in separation with someone at the moment, this I feel like there's some emotional growth to happen here for you for you to be able to move forward. Because when you do... You could move it into the Ten of Pentacles here, which is putting everything back into alignment, putting everything back into balance. And I just feel like you're, 
you're needing here to to take some time out from a situation to heal emotionally for you to be able to move towards this you know ten of pentacles situation of feeling content happy and everything being in alignment for you okay so that is a little bit of work that you need to do yourself to to move forward but if you can take ownership of that then absolutely you've got this this sense of um contentment coming your way and balance ultimately hi danielle osama osama a message for osama please message for osama Osama, you have the nine of wands here in in the upright position, my lovely. So whatever it is you're working towards, whatever you're pursuing here, keep going. It okay, because you're really close to it, okay. And you do have the two of pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like you've been given a lot of time, a lot of energy, and putting a lot of effort into something that. You're losing the faith. You're losing hope here because that nine of wands is telling me that you feel like giving up. But do not give up because you're really close to it, okay? Because you've got the nine of cups here in the upright position, which is your wishes fulfilled. How amazing. Love that energy for you. <coughs> Danielle, let's get Danielle a message. Where are we with Danielle's energy right now? Danielle, what do you need to know? Danielle. Danielle, you've got the Knight of Cups here in the reverse, okay? So there's a little bit of moodiness. I feel like the things are a little bit up in the air for you at the moment emotionally. There's a bit of a turmoil and there's maybe someone who's a bit jealous of you. So just be be wary of that, okay? But I feel like there's something that you're freeing yourself from and a situation that you're freeing yourself from, which is bringing you a sense of release. It's bringing you a sense of liberation. I just feel like you're becoming liberated in whatever you're doing. So there has been a lot of burdens for you. There has been a lot of overwhelm for you, Danielle. But you're letting go of that. You're letting go of that with that eight of, of swords there in reverse, my lovely. Okay, so I hope that helps you. Courtney, message for Courtney, please. Message for Courtney. Hi to everyone who's just joined. Just double tap the screen, pop your name in the comments and I'll see who I'm drawn to. Courtney, please. Courtney. Courtney, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, my lovely. So there's good news, good luck, good fortune coming your way, my lovely. The Wheel of Fortune can represent cycles as well. So if things have been a bit up and down for you, there are good things coming your way for sure. Again, cycles here with the moon for sure. So whatever's been up and down for you, if you've been on a downward you know, spiral, things are looking up for you. There's good things coming your way. Trust your intuition though, okay? Because I feel like you're getting a lot of intuitive hits that you need to be listening to because they're guiding you and they're moving you towards your right path. You're, they're moving you to being on that upward spiral. So make sure you um, you listen to your, vi your um, intuition, okay? Thanks for sending the positive vibes. Angie, message for Angie, please. If you want to be considered for a reading, just double tap the screen, pop your name in comments. Angie, what's the message for Angie, please? Message for Angie. Angie, you've got the Six of Cups here. This is a card of nostalgia. This is you thinking back about someone in your childhood, someone in your past year. I never feel, unless the next card tells me otherwise, that this is about a toxic ex. I just feel like this is someone from your past. This is someone who perhaps in the past um, you, you want to meet up with, but you're finding it hard to find the time. There is time that you need to carve out of your calendar, carve out of your diary here, Courtney, to spend with somebody really important to you. Because I feel like there's a lot of comfort and a lot of pleasure to be had with this person from your past, okay? Not a toxic ex. This is someone really important to you. So give yourself a break, my lovely. I feel like you've been busy working hard, Courtney. It's time to time to just crack open a bottle of wine or whatever it is your favourite tipple is and meet up with this person from your past who's really important to you. I feel like this is a childhood friend, maybe a sibling, a cousin or a, someone that you were really close to as a child. And um, I just feel like you need to purge. Have a chat, catch up with them and have some fun for sure. Have some fun because at the moment the sun is in reverse for you, my lovely, which is making me feel like Courtney, your energy is quite low at the moment and that needs to, that needs to, that needs to change, okay? Hi to everyone who's just joined my live. Welcome. If you want to be considered for a reading, just pop your name in the comments, double tap the screen. And if you like the readings or you're liking the vibe, double tap the screen to let me know. So name, name only in the comments. I'll see who I'm drawn to and then I will pull you some cards. 
name only Amy, please. A M I E, Amy, please. Message for Amy. Message for Amy. Amy, you've got the Page of Swords here in the upright position. So I'm feeling that there's somebody who you're connecting with, maybe through social media, where there's a lot of fun. This this Page of Swords energy is very witty. Someone who's very good at communicating. This could be representing your personality. But I feel like you need to be vigilant here because the Page of Swords is a little bit of someone perhaps who's perhaps um, a little bit outspoken sometimes. Perhaps this again is representing your energy, Amy. But I just feel like the, the Page of Swords is someone who definitely has a thirst for knowledge. Very curious here. But there's a death card here for you in the upright position, my lovely. It's bringing you death, rebirth, a new start, a new beginning. Maybe someone's going to contact you or say something to you that's going to help you to move on from a situation in your past that you need now to close the door on for a new door to open for you, okay? Temperance in reverse here could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Something's been out of balance here for you, Amy, okay? And it's time to take control of this, okay? Because you need to walk away from something or someone perhaps that's being in that kind of page of swords energy where they're being a little bit spiteful, a little bit mean. Maybe someone's being a bit jealous of you as well. That's what I'm getting here. But, you know, you've got the two of swords situation here as well that you just need to move on, make a choice, make a decision. Because when you do, you will heal, you will feel a sense of relief. You will be relieved from a past situation that's been holding you back and you're moving towards something much more positive. Look, know your worth, my lovely. There is a lot of good around you. There are a lot of good people around you. I feel like you've got a lot of supportive friends, family members, people who love you. So the more you tap into your feeling of gratitude and feel that sense of abundance, then you're going to you know, lift your spirits and you're going to feel so much happier, so much more positive. And positivity breeds positivity. So if you think and feel positive vibes, you attract positivity and positive things towards you. Hi to everyone who's just joined. If you want to be considered for a reading, double tap the screen and pop your name, name only, in the comments. So I'm just doing a quick lunchtime live, so we are literally doing till about 2.30, so I'll be here another 20 minutes or so. If you are a YouTube user, then head on over to my YouTube channel as well and subscribe to me over there. It's free to subscribe, and I put my tarot scopes on there every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and then the little shorts as well. And as well, if you're on, if you're new to my TikTok channel here and you're not already following me, be sure to follow me because I also upload videos here every day as well. And um, yeah, I go live pretty much every day. I do have some time off work this next week. Uh, I'm going away for the weekend, so I may do a live over the weekend in where I'm going. So if you're following me, you'll be notified, I hope. Or next week, I'm going to be doing at least an hour live every day, probably around lunchtime. See what my uh, schedule looks like. Rose, message for Rose. Rose, you've got the fool here in the upright position, my lovely. It is time to take a leap of faith here. Okay, there's a new beginning awaiting for you, but you need to step out in the upright position, my lovely. It is time to take a leap of faith here. Okay, there's a new beginning awaiting for you, but you need to step outside of your comfort zone here. And you really need to believe, okay? I feel like you just need to believe. Just rip up the plaster off and go for whatever it is that you're you're wanting to do here. There's something that's been holding you back that you've been in denying yourself of. So stop it. Stop denying yourself of it, okay? You've got the Queen of Cups here. I feel like you are being told by the divine, by your gut, that there is something that you need to be doing here to take to, to take this leap of faith, to go on this new journey, to be in this energy of the fool, which is a new beginning, exciting new beginning, a new adventure. Loving this energy for you because it's bringing you the, the wheel of fortune. Good luck, good fortune, a new cycle, a new start in your life, which is going to be very fulfilling. How amazing. Love that energy for you. Fiona, message for Fiona, please. Message for Fiona. Fiona, you've got the two of swords here in the upright position. It's time to lift that mask, okay? There is something here that you are weighing up your options about. You are doubting. There's a lot of inner conflict happening for you. There's hidden information and confusion because you're not seeing the situation for, you know, what it is, okay? You need to just 
accept it for what it is and move on from it because I feel like you're in denial about something here. Yeah, it's making you moody. It's making you feel in a state of turmoil, confusion, but you're avoiding conflict. So it's the Two of Swords is also a card of stuck energy. It's an impasse. It's a stalemate, okay? So I feel like you need to... Um, confront the situation confront it because isn't it better to know the truth and um what was this i had a message from my account asking no don't ever do that so anyone who ever gets contacted by someone pretending to me to be me ignore it i will only contact you if you contact me and you can contact me through um through my link in the bio Okay, I only have this TikTok account, my Instagram, YouTube and Twitter. But if I if somebody contacts you pretending to be me and telling you to click on a link, please don't. It's not me. I'll only respond to your emails, okay? So once you let go of this situation, my lovely, you will be moving into um into a into a resolve, okay? So you just need to take that leap of faith. Um have that conversation and you will move towards something new here you are coming to the end of a difficult cycle a difficult chapter in your life and you're moving towards a new beginning my lovely okay so lots of love sending you lots of strength positivity and light okay zara please zara message for zara please message for zara message for zara Zara, you have the three of wands in the reverse, okay? So I feel like you need to start planning. I feel like there's lack of planning, a lack of thought gone into something. I feel like there's something that you want to do, but you're holding yourself back because you want to do it and you can kind of see the end result, okay? But you need to plan it. And without planning and careful precision, you're just going to be thinking about it and not doing. So don't just think about it, do okay so take the time with this hanged man energy to plan your next steps here because when you do you'll see the situation from a very dis uh, different perspective and you will move towards a resolve here okay the six of swords here is bringing in a resolve it's bringing in leaving something behind towards something that you are definitely needing to walk towards for your future because i feel like you're slightly off course you're not quite on the path you should be on right now and you're moving towards the right path here i feel like somebody's got your back here somebody's watching out for you somebody's going to help you through this transition but you do need to plan look at the base of the deck as i put the base uh the deck down you've got the fool here take a leap of faith my lovely plan and you've got a new adventure, a new start coming for you, which feels really amazing. It's a really exciting energy, my lovely. So good luck with that, okay? Not that I feel that you need it, because I feel like once you've um, planned, thought about it, it's going to happen really quickly, my beautiful soul, okay? Hi to everyone who's just joined. If you want to be considered for a reading, just double tap the screen, um, pop your name in comments, and I'll see who I'm drawn to. You're welcome, Zara. Hope that helped you. Hope it resonates. Martin, please, eight. I don't know what the eight means, but Martin, message for Martin, please. Martin, message for Martin, please. Message for Martin. Martin, you've got the Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. There's some good news coming your way, okay? You've got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like you've been going through some financial hardships. Maybe you've been looking for a new job. Maybe you've been having some financial difficulties. But they're coming to an end, okay? Especially with this Wheel of Fortune. Maybe you work in a an environment, in an industry where things are perhaps seasonal. But there's definitely been some peaks and troughs financially for you. But they are coming coming right okay you've got the wheel of fortune here which is bringing positive news good fortune for you my lovely so i'm really pleased to see that energy for you hope it helps you hi david message for david please we've got quite a few men on here so we're going to give some messages to the the males david you've got the page of cups here okay love the page of cups energy oh with the seven of pentacles so there's something that you're thinking about pursuing here something that you need to oh look at this on the base of the deck you have the three of pentacles 
there is a situation here that you're working towards that's going to bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment. I feel like you're quite intuitive. I feel like you're very em empathetic as well. I feel like you pick up on energies. You walk into a room, David, and you can kind of pick up the energies. If you're not a psychic clairvoyant, I'd be very surpri surprised. surprised, but I feel like you're very intuitive. And I feel like you work with people. And you connect with people that bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment. This is your collaborative team. This is your community. These are the people around you who I feel that you connect with really well. Um, and there are potentially people here who want to, like I'm doing now, pay for your services, for your your services of helping them feel emotional fulfillment, healing, satisfaction and joy. So tell me, David, you are really intuitive. If people are coming to you for help and advice, I wouldn't be surprised, okay? But there's something here that's coming towards you. Maybe someone that's coming towards you through the through your tribe, through the community and the network of people around you that you're going to have a really strong, a strong connection with. This is soulmate energy. This is beautiful energy, emotional fulfillment. Really nice energy for you. And if anyone else wants to claim that, that you've got a really strong network of people around you, People who love you, emotional fulfillment is in abundance for you. That is such a beautiful energy. Double tap the screen, my lovelies. Hi to anyone who's just joined. Welcome to my live. It's just a quick lunchtime live check in. I do need to keep an eye on the time. Um, there we go. We've got another 10 minutes or so. So I'll see how many more people I can pull readings for. But I am live every day, guys. Very rare I don't go live. It depends what time of day I can go live because I also work in the day as well. And I do private readings as well. Um, so if you want to book a private reading with me, head on over to my website. The link is in my bio here. Pop me an email. You can have a look at what different packages I offer as well. Um, and yeah, email me and I will contact you. If somebody's contacting you pretending to be me and telling you to click on links, please don't. I will only ever respond to your emails that you send to me that are in the link in my bio okay my lovelies nicola with the fingers crossed nicola my lovely what's your message page of cups for you as well gosh these cards have been shuffled and shuffled and shuffled again but you've got the page of cups here page of cups can be a little bit dreamy okay it can be someone who is wishing for a person or a situation maybe having your head in in the clouds a little bit about someone there's something you're daydreaming about here so what do you need to do what's your focus okay there is something you're daydreaming about and i just don't feel like you're feeling confident enough to move towards it to pursue it to go after your goals after your dreams but i feel like spirit is urging you to 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 go for your dreams follow your dreams follow your passion nicola because i'm telling you now there's an opportunity here for you that you're missing by not following your dreams following your passion and i feel like you're you're very intuitive anyone who pulls any of the water cards okay cancer pisces scorpio energy are always going to be very intuitive we all have the gift of intuition i use my intuition all day every day and if i ignore it I beat myself up about it because your intuition is there to guide you, to protect you, to move you towards where you need to be. Sometimes you'll get signs and you'll be like, oh, that's a coincidence. Isn't that a coincidence? No such thing as a coincidence. Divine guidance is there constantly. Your intuition is there constantly for a reason. So please listen to it because you need to be taking up these opportunities that are being presented to you. Because when you do, you've got the chariot here, which is bringing you success, movement, okay? A reason to celebrate. You're still there, though, in the star, in the reverse situation, lacking that faith, not listening to your gut. Please listen to your gut. It's guiding you. It's telling you what you need to do. So please listen to it because you're resisting change. You need to shift your mindset here. You need to absolutely shift the way that you're thinking about something and, and do some research, I feel. There's re spirits coming through here to say, research this situation that you're passionate about. Research this situation that you're looking to pursue here because there's information that I feel that you need to have to help you move forward because it is there for you. The star card is yes, but it's in reverse. It's not a yes for the moment because you need to listen to your gut. You need to listen to your your intuition. It's guiding you. It's telling you. And then, boom, when you do, 
you got the eight of wands there which is all movement that chariot the eight of uh, wands there is all about successful movement swift fast movement listen to that gut honestly you can't go wrong it never lies you to you it never lets you down all right my lovelies maria with the waving hand maria 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 okay maria let's get you a message maria please Maria, you've got the justice in reverse here. So this is something being out of balance. Could be dealing with a Libra, okay? But something is unfair here. Something is out of balance. <sighs> okay, there could be a lawsuit or a legal issue that you're dealing with right now. Let's let's look into this a little bit further. It could be a contract. A contract that you're thinking about signing, okay? Or a contract that was offered to you. This could be a marriage contract, a work contract, an educational contract. But something hasn't worked out the way that you planned. But guess what? It hasn't worked out for a reason. Divine has a different a different plan for you. There's something you've been working towards that it hasn't worked out. Because, look, again, listening to your gut, listening to your intuition. It's going to move you towards something that's going to bring you a lot of emotional satisfaction, a lot of emotional fulfillment. So whatever hasn't happened for you, whether this be a relationship, a job opportunity, it's not happened for a reason. And that reason is for the good of you because there is something else for you. Lovers. And at the base, seven of cups. Okay, there is opportunity going to be presenting itself to you. A lot of opportunities, okay? So whatever hasn't happened for you in the past, know that it hasn't happened for a reason because there's more opportunities coming for you which are going to be much more fulfilling for you can't give you a stronger message from spirit than that my lovely i hope it helps hope it resonates and if anyone else wants to claim that please double tap the screen anyone know what this thing is in the bottom of my screen here it's on a three win streak i don't know what this is does anyone know what this is points needed for ranking no idea Michelle Jevson, Michelle Jevson, Michelle Jevson, Michelle Jevson, message for Michelle Jevson. Knight of Cups in reverse again. Okay, somebody's been a little bit moody, somebody's been a bit avoiding conflict here. Somebody uh, has disappointed you for sure. Maybe somebody's promised you the world, not delivered and you got the Four of Swords here in reverse. And there's a time of recovery after it. So somebody has not delivered on beautiful promises that they offered you. And now you need to take some time out. Or maybe you've taken some time out and it's a time of reflection. It's a time of healing. It's a time of moving on. All right. That energy, move on from it. Okay, my lovely. Hmm. Learn from it. Seven of Pentacles is your incubation period, is your time of reflection, is your time of nurturing yourself, nurturing the situation and learning from the situation to make sure you learn from it, move on from it. Maybe this is around a friend or a person who you work with that has been a bit of a conflict. Some, maybe a job opportunity hasn't turned out the way that you hoped it would. But I feel like this Three of Pentacles is bringing in a positive change for you, okay? This is all about teamwork. This is about you um, speaking to a mentor or a tutor or someone who's going to help you to achieve your, full, to fulfill your um, skills and knowledge and experience and new potential and utilize your potential to a maximum where you're going to be able to find a community of people who will help you to achieve what you need to financially. I feel like this is all around finan finances for you. I feel like this has been a definite, you've got the queen of pentacles here as well. I feel like a job opportunity or somebody in your workplace has not delivered what they promised. And as a result of that, you feel in a little bit in victim mode, but take a lesson from it, okay? Learn from it and you will find that healthy balance. You will get what you want, okay? Because that Queen of Pentacles is very together, very compassionate, very rational and just has everything that she needs in a really pragmatic manner, okay? Approaches everything in a very pragmatic manner. So be pragmatic, learn from what you've experienced, move on towards a real financial successful opportunity. So I hope that helps you, my lovely. Joy, message for joy, please. 
A message for Joy. Joy, you've got the Hierophant in the reverse here, okay? Could be dealing with a Taurus here. Somebody doesn't want to commit, okay? Taurus in reverse is very much about um, somebody being afraid to commit. So you, you could be afraid to commit to something or someone, or someone is afraid to commit to you. And you've got the Ace of Wands here in the reverse. So somebody that you've got a very strong chemist chemistry with, a very strong physical attraction with, Set the boundaries, my lovely, because this person doesn't want to commit. They want one thing, one thing only. And I'm sorry if that's not the message that you came here to hear, my lovely. But sometimes, you know, you just need to hear the truth so that you can either decide to enjoy what you've got and or move on from it if you want more. But there's somebody here that will not commit because, well... They're not interested in commitment. They're just interested in having some fun. So set your boundaries, stand your ground here. If you're happy to be in a, a situation with someone who it is just fun, enjoy it. If you're not, move on from it. Either way, set your boundaries, okay? Hi to everyone who's just joined my live. If you want to be considered for a message, double tap the screen, pop your name in the comments, name only. And I'll see who I'm drawn to. How are we doing for time here? So this is just a quick lunchtime live. Okay, we literally have a couple of minutes. So I'll see how many readings I can get done in that time. Let's do one card pulls. Are we ready? Sarah Jane, you have the Emperor in reverse here. So there's a block here in your creativity. Okay, you could be a little bit of codependency with someone here. I feel like you're not caring for yourself. You're not looking after yourself. The so spirit is urging you to look after yourself. Love yourself, okay? A lot of insecurities there. You need to know your worth, okay? A lot of insecurities there. You need to know your worth and love yourself for who you are. You've got so many amazing qualities. Bethan with a Welsh flag. Hi, Bethan. Okay, you've got the... Ten of Wands here in the upright position, okay? You've got too much going on, my lovely. You need to, you know, let go of some of these responsibilities. There's stress and exhaustion around you, so you have to learn to um, do everything in moderation, okay? feel like you're giving too much to a situation, burning yourself out, and it's causing exhaustion. So look after yourself. Another card there, another energy of looking after yourself. Diana with a butterfly. Okay, so you've got the six of pentacles in the reverse here. So I'm feeling that something is out of balance here financially. Or you could be dealing with a person who wants a relationship with you, but no strings attached, okay? This is somebody being selfish, okay? But this is also a card of um, compromise. So I feel like there's a situation here where there needs to be moderation, compromise, balance, if you are giving too much of yourself to someone or a situation, take a step back, okay? Take a step back because someone's abusing your generosity, my lovely, okay? Thank you, Mary. Let's get Mary a card. You've got the five. Well, it came out in reverse, but I, I kind of came out kind of sideways. I'm kind of on the fence with you with this one, Mary. You've got the five of cups here, which is a card of regret, failure, loss. It's hurt. It's holding on to past energies that you need to let go of. But in this, I feel like you're, you're moving on from that, okay? I feel like you're, you're kind of in between. You're still harboring something from the past, but you're moving on from it, okay? You're finding forgiveness and you're letting go. Your hope is returning. There's recovery here for you. And you're overcoming that grief and you're overcoming that negativity. You're accepting the situation for what it is and what it was and you're moving on from it. So well done. Good on you. Good on you. I'm so glad to see that you're moving on from it, Mary. Jill. Jill, you have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is you... It can be a bit of stubbornness, okay? So you could be dealing with or you could be being stubborn yourself here. It's about looking after your yourself, your money, your possessions, okay? Um, um, or you just being a little bit guarded. I feel like Spirit is urging you to, to let your guard down here, okay, my lovely? So, Jill, let your guard down. I feel like you just need to let your hair down and have a bit of fun. Sometimes with that four of pentacles there, it can just be forgetting to have fun because you're focusing so hard on one thing. You're like, well, what about you? What about having some fun, letting your hair down, having laughter, having some joy and feeling that feel-good factor in your life? So let your hair down, I feel, is coming through here for you. 
Diana Cohen, Diana Cohen, you've got the two of wands here in the reversed situation, okay? So it feels like whatever you've been planning isn't coming coming to fruition as you hoped, okay? This is you feeling scared to step outside of your comfort zone and you haven't been planning properly at something, okay? But you need to take action here because you're playing it safe. I feel like spirit is, avoid, is, is really urging you to step outside of your comfort zone here for sure. Gleisha, Gleisha, King of Cups in reverse. Somebody's being emotionally manipulated with you. Somebody's being quite selfish. Someone is being quite moody. This could be representing your energy. So if somebody is being emotionally manipulated with you, take some time out, okay? If you're feeling that somebody's making you moody and somebody making you feel that upset turmoil and anxiety, move away from it. Take some time out because there is emotional healing coming with that Two of Cups for you as well, okay, my lovely? Gianna, Gianna, we have the Knight of Wands in the upright position. So the Knight of Wands is very fast moving energy, okay? It's good news. It could be somebody that you've got a, a huge fat flirtation with at the moment. Somebody's very energetic, very flirtatious. There's a lot of passion and adventure with that Knight of Wands. If you've not been doing something that's filling you with motivation, drive and energy, Spirit is urging you to take action. So whatever you've been pursuing, whatever you've been thinking about doing, go for it, okay? Go for it. Laura, please. Laura, you've got the five of swords in the reverse uh, situation here. So there is peace after a, a conflict, okay? So if you've been at loggerheads with someone, there is an opportunity for reconciliation. Let bygones be bygones, though. It's no point in arguing this, this case because neither one of you will admit defeat. So you've got to just draw a line under it. Let bygones be bygones. Cut loose of this situation or this person and um, you'll find a resolution, my lovely, okay? Lucy, Lucy Knight, you've got the King of Pentacles in the reverse position. So I'm feeling there's been maybe some um, some financial issues here, okay? Things have not been in control for you. and I, But I feel like you need to be focusing now on getting everything into order. The, the King of Cups, uh, sorry, the King of Pentacles is very much in control. Emotionally, financially, he's got his shit together. So I feel like Spirit is urging you here to get your shit together. Speak to a tutor, a mentor, a counsellor, someone who can help you through this situation. Because maybe someone has been a little bit... Um, a little bit um, malicious with you. That's what I'm feeling. Spirit's coming through with somebody's been a bit malicious with you. Walk away from it, okay? Get yourself, get your shit in order. Yeah. Time to do some soul searching, okay? I feel like you need to really work things out for you. Soul search. Do some inner, inner work, self-work for you to be able to know what's going to bring you fulfillment. Because this situation has taught you a lesson that you need to learn, okay? Could be dealing with a Virgo. So I hope that helps you sort your shit out, all right? And if you don't know how, get the help that you need, okay? Speak to a mentor, a tutor, a counsellor, someone who can help you, my lovely, okay? All right, so anyone who's just joined the live, if you want to be considered for a reading, double tap the screen and pop your name in comments. Cameron, Cameron, message for Cameron, please. Cameron, you've got the Queen of Swords here, my lovely. She's very independent. She knows how to set boundaries. She's very assertive. She uses her um, intelligence to cut someone down. She can be a real bitch when she needs to be, okay? But she's very honest, very fair, very direct. So sometimes the truth hurts and I feel like there's some truth that's going to be revealed to you that you need to hear that's going to hurt but it's truth that you need to hear for you to be able to yeah be, to be able to get back on track for sure because something's been out of balance here okay something's been troubling you someone has perhaps been a bit um Something's been disharmonious for you, okay? There's been disharmony around you. But by being in that queen of swords energy yourself, you're setting boundaries, you're being assertive, and you're cutting out the BS. All right, my lovely. 
Why do we get silly people on the live? Will I ever poo again? Go and see a, a medical specialist. Do I look like a doctor? No. Move on. Please scroll on for my live. If you're gonna, gonna be here to disrupt the positive energy. Hillary, please. Hillary. Hillary, ooh, you've got the world, my lovely. There's a new chapter, a new beginning coming into your life here. Wow. Okay, so you are about to start and embark on a new adventure, something really positive. If you've been going through a challenging situation, you're coming to the end of that challenge, okay? With that snake, I'm always, always with the snakes, as you know, they shed their skin. And when they shed their skin... They become a new version of themselves. So I feel like there's a new version of yourself coming into life here. And it feels really good. And it's giving you a sense of belonging. It's bringing things into harmony. And I just feel like it's a new and exciting beginning for you. How lovely. Krishma, Krishma, Leo energy here with the strength card. This is all about self-love, self-respect. This is unconditional love. It's inner strength. I feel like you're needing to call on your, call on your inner strength here to to drive yourself to, to where you need to be, okay? Maybe there's a situation with a person where you need to just kill them with kindness. Use your kindness and humility and compassion here with someone who perhaps hasn't been as nice to you. But smile, it confuses people, absolutely. Desica, please, Desica. Ooh, you've got the star card here, which is hope, faith, optimism, healing. It's a yes card as well, okay? It could be... Um, a spiritual awakening for you but either way it's rejuvenation hope faith and healing so whatever you're thinking of it's a yes it's it's hopeful it's optimistic and it feels good tina please tina we have the queen of wands Ooh. i love the queen of wands she knows what she wants okay she goes after it she takes no prisoners okay she's independent she's a social butterfly she wants what she gets what she wants okay and she does it with determination very charismatic energy very confident so if you've not been feeling in this queen of wands energy i feel like your energy is about to shift about to change and you're going to really start to glow up and feel confident and be able to go after what it is that you want okay Chantelle, Chantelle, you've got the temperance, Sagittarius energy here. This is all about balance, it's harmony, it's everything in moderation, okay? So there's healing coming from a situation perhaps that's needed you to have a bit more patience than you're prepared to have patience for. But I just feel like you're moving towards a more peaceful, harmonious um, phase in your life after what's felt quite chaotic for you. Holly, Holly, 1995, Holly. Holly, you've got the hanged man in the reverse situation here, my lovely. So there's a, been a delay in a situation that you're pursuing. There's something that you're thinking about where you can't quite make up your, your mind, okay? You're in a state of indecision and you feel a little bit stuck, okay? But with the hanged man it comes... Um, letting go of something that you need to allow yourself the freedom of so freeing yourself from something that's holding you back for you to be able to move forward with with success um and happiness here but there's something you're uncertain about you find do some research i feel like spirit saying do the research surrender let go of any inhibitions any insecurities because when you do you're going to move towards something that's going to feel much more fulfilling for you. And it really will benefit you for sure. Yeah. And it'll put you in a state of emotional fulfillment. So everyone, thank you so much for joining my live this afternoon. Hi, Dad. I can see you just popped in there. Um, I do need to go now because I've got private readings. I need to get done. And yeah, we are nearly three o'clock here in the UK. If you're not already following me here on TikTok, be sure to follow me because I do go live pretty much every day. So if you haven't had a message off me today, then don't worry, join me tomorrow or head on over to my YouTube channel because I've offered the opportunity for you to win a free private reading there with me. So if you find the September love prediction readings, um, just before that, there was a video I put on 
offering you the chance to win a free private reading. So head over, the, over there, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, pop your name in the comments of the video to win a chance of a free private reading. And um, yeah, good luck. We'll be drawing a winner shortly. All right, everyone, well, have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day, evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your energy as always. Lots of love, lots of light and lots of positivity.